My name is Tom Barnes and today I am going to show you how to connect your cameras really, really simply and straightforwardly to Capture One Mobile. So today I'm going to show you how everything works on the iPad, but if you really want to be hyper mobile, you can also use the same experience on your iPhone as well. Connecting your camera to Capture One Mobile is really straightforward. You've got multiple ways to be able to do it. You've got USB, which is obviously a direct cable connection, and you have wireless. Now, if you do want the fastest transfer rates, cable is always going to be faster, but wireless comes with advantages. Obviously, there's no cable, so there won't be a trip hazard, um, and you do have a bit more, for obviously, freedom, but if you do want the fastest, cable is going to be the way to go. So why would you tether to an iPad or an iPhone? Well, for me, I actually tether to an iPad loads on my smaller shoots. I love being able to show the art director the images straight away on a big screen rather than showing them on the back of the camera, which I've never felt was a good option. I shoot on Canon, so today we're going to be using this R5, but Capture One Mobile works with all sorts of different cameras. You may have to enable a couple of different settings in your camera systems menu, but for Canon, it is just plug and play. Again, we will point to specific articles to help you get set up, or you can just hit this plus button here, and then this will pop up, and you can just run through all the different setup guides for the various cameras. Let's get my Canon R5 connected. Now, obviously, if you want to use an external storage device or extra power, you are gonna need a USB hub. Look for the ones that have got um, multiple USB ports and PD, now power delivery. That is gonna mean that you have a constant good charge on your iPad and a stable connection. On the left hand side you've got your connect menu and you can see your camera that has popped up here now if you hit these three dots you can also see settings now in here you can change pretty much everything on the camera including being able to set the files to save to the ipad exclusively or to the camera as well on the sd card as well as to capture one mobile and that is a fantastic feature it means that if you're shooting there and to here you've already got a redundancy built into your workflow Connecting wirelessly to Capture One Mobile is gonna vary per your camera model, but the rule of thumb, obviously you have to have the camera connected to the same Wi-Fi network as whatever device you have running Capture One Mobile. So for my R5, I've connected it to the Wi-Fi here in my studio. The iPad running Capture One Mobile, that is also connected to the same network. You can see the camera here is just showing up. All I need to do is hit these three buttons, hit connect, and then it is connected. You can hear the noise and I am ready to get going.